Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn IT with Venkat. Today's video I am going to do the circuit for handling DC motors with Arduino board in Tinkercad environment. So this is the work area. At first I am in need of Arduino board. So search here Arduino. So we will get Arduino Uno. Click it and put it inside. Next search breadboard. Put it inside. Click R T to rotate. Next to that search for DC space motor. So here we will get DC motor. Put it inside and rotate like this. Followed by that next we are in need of NPN transistor. Keep it inside. This NPN which is used for amplifying the weak signal to the strong signal. NPN stands for negative, positive and negative. You can see emitter, base and collector. Next to this search diode. So here we have a diode. The diode used to allow an electric current to flow in one direction and blocks the reverse direction. Next we are in need of resistor. So type resistor here. Here we have a resistor. Put it inside. So these are all the devices we are in need. Next I am going to give the supply to the breadboard. Positive give it to 5 voltage in the Arduino board make it as red color and from the negative give it to the ground and make it as black color and use the diode and place it here and uh, from the DC motor we have two legs one is negative and another one is for positive so from negative I am going to give it to the diode here and make this as black and this is for positive so from here give it to the another side of the diode and make it as red color so from this red color I am going to give it to the positive which is plus symbol already we have given the positive of this side to the 5 voltage next take this NPN rotate and place it here so we have three legs for NPN this is negative so from here place it to the negative leg of the diode and make it as black and this also negative so from here take and give it to any negative pin so this is also going to black and this center one is the base through which we have to supply the power so for that we need a resistor rotate and place it like this so from here we have to supply the signal to this board so from here you can take give it to 13th pin so that's it click the code here and change this blocks to text continue so by default 13 is the output and here making 13 to high and 13 to low for one second which is 1000 millisecond equal to 1 second ok so start the uh, simulation and we can check so here we can see the servo motor starts rotating so stop the simulation same like that we can add some more DC motors click it and add it this side rotate and here I am just going to make the topology similar to the drone setup for four wings click it again place it here on one more DC motor this side rotate place like this and uh, this one rotate place like this and for these two I am in need of NPN transistor click it add it inside rotate keep like this and I am in need of resistor rotate and connect with the center base and followed by that diode so here we have a diode and place here now same like this DC motor we have to give the connection for all these three so this is positive so take it from here and give it to this positive leg of the diode change it to red color and this is negative so take it from here and give it to the row of this diode negative and change to black color 
same like top we have to do it at the bottom so from here which is negative so from here to this diode and positive to another side of the diode so change the color to red here change the color to black so this is positive so from here to this pin red color and this is negative so from here to here change to black color and for this NPN transistor we already know that three legs emitter and collector are negative so take the link from here and give it to the negative of the diode change to black color and from here we can give it to the negative of this side and change to black color so for this resistor take it from this pin and give it to the same row which is connected to this resistor from where we have given to the signal 13 okay so now if you start the simulation now you can see the top two are running bottom two are not running why because we haven't given the supply of power for this diode so what we have to do from here give the supply to the positive then change this to red now if we start the simulation we can see all the four motors are running so this is like drone setup assume that these four dc motors are wings of the drone by using this connection all the dc motors are running hope you understand thanks for watching this video see you in the next video bye bye